Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Adam Cellini. Topping our news tonight, a pet groomer with more than five decades of experience is now being accused of harming her client's animals. The owner of Happy, Pe uh, Happy Puppy Pet Spa in Venice says she is at the center of multiple investigations by the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office after a recent video surfaced on social media. ABC 7's Erica Jackson joins us live from Venice to explain what one pet owner believes happened behind closed doors and how she is taking action. Erica. Good evening, Adam. The Happy Puppy Pet Spa has been open for the last six years, but just a couple days ago, a now former employee caught the owner's aggressive behavior toward one animal on camera. And we must warn you, this video may be hard to watch. This video taken on Friday at the Happy Puppy Pet Spa in Venice has been seen by nearly 200,000 people on Facebook. I wasn't surprised. I was out of my mind. Cynthia Crow believes this video is a very a local small piece of a larger it's puzzle. Okay to... Just two weeks earlier, she picked up her dog Pumpkin from the Happy Puppy Pet Spa to learn he suffered a broken jaw, abdominal bruising, and damage to his ears while at the groomers. I'm suffering thinking of what she could have been doing to my dog and what she did to my dog, and I didn't I didn't see that. I do not hurt animals. I, I love them. The spa's owner, Phyllis Luca, says she has never intentionally hurt a dog in her 54 years of pet grooming. She says Pumpkin was fine when she finished his grooming. She came back 10 minutes later to find the injured Yorkie Poo. Luca says the dog in the video, Bridget, passed out because she was stressed while getting groomed. I'm not choking the dog. I'm just holding her head while I... You just do a fast snap and she comes right back. The pet spa's phone is ringing off the hook with messages from animal rights activists from across the country. I hope somebody does to you what you did to that dog. Lucas says she is now the subject of two investigations by the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office. One after Crow made a statement about Pumpkin's condition and another against a former employee who took this video. I don't want to see that again because I can't stand to see it choking the dog. Crow says Pumpkin can't open his mouth to eat, bark or yawn because it will be closed in a muzzle for the next 8 to 12 weeks. She wants this to be a lesson for other pet owners to do extensive research before choosing a groomer. He's never ever going to a groomer. I'm going to learn how to groom him now. A local veterinarian it so says it's okay to moderately shake an unconscious dog while performing CPR, but vigorously shaking the dog can hurt the animal. And we reached out to the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office for more information about the open cases, but it cannot be reached on a Sunday. Reporting in Venice, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. All right, Erica, thank you very much. And remember, for updates on local breaking news, you can download the latest updated version of our news app. Android users will get the update automatically if it's uh, already downloaded on your phone. But iPhone users who have the app need to go to the App Store and re-download it. Just search for WWSB or My Sun Coast. A safety initiative has been presented to enhance security in downtown Sarasota during the Saturday Farmer's Market. According to an economic study, the market attracts nearly half a million people year-round. And with such a spotlight on tightened security ag uh, around the globe, the market's executive director, Phil Pagano, says it's important to be proactive. People are concerned. Customers and vendors over the last few years have been concerned with security. And, uh, you know, and obviously, you know, something driving into the market is a high concern. The answer Pagano is suggesting is uh, for the, to the city and downtown improvement district board would be the addition of 16 Jersey style barricades, which could be filled with 1600 pounds of water. But some concerns with that proposal would be that the barricades would diminish the atmosphere of downtown and they could cost too much. Well, one week after a shooting that killed more than two dozen members of a small town church in Texas, the survivors have gathered for prayer surrounded by hundreds of community members and visitors wanting to offer their sympathies. ABC's Marcus Moore is in Sutherland, Texas, excuse me, Sutherland Springs, Texas, and gives us a look at those services. Hundreds streaming out of a white tent. This makeshift church in the tiny Texas town of Sutherland Springs. 
hugging and crying after the first Sunday service since a gunman stormed the First Baptist Church and killed more than two dozen people in the worst mass shooting in Texas history. It was beautifully explained, beautifully done to honor everyone that had passed and to give hope to everyone. 26 chairs inside the church reflecting the official death toll because one of the victims was pregnant. Pastor Frank Pomeroy called on mourners to worship in the face of evil. And to see Pastor Pomeroy and his wife there having lost their 14 year old daughter and to hear his inspirational words. I saw him standing there at the front of the church comforting others and he lost his 14 year old daughter. Annabelle Pomeroy was just 14 years old. Church members and volunteers constructed the tent for Sunday service in a baseball field, serving as a temporary home for the congregation that used to number a few dozen. But today, welcomed as many as a thousand worshipers. Church officials have announced that the original church building will be turned into an indoor memorial that first opens to the public Sunday evening. Marcus Moore, ABC News, Sutherland Springs, Texas. And back here at home, the 8th annual Crystal Classic Sand Sculpting Competition out on Siesta Key has picked its winners, 24 of the world's best sand sculptors descending on the island to turn the beach's award-winning white sand into immaculate creations. Catalytic thinking, what you see right there, took home the Sculptor's Award. Third place went to Reclamations, which showed a Jeep next to a tree there. Second place sculptors Helena Bangard and Fergus Mulvaney Pose next to their piece, Water Dream, and Winter is Coming, taking home this year's first place prize. It is the creation of Dan Becker and Karen Freilich. Winter is coming. Inspired by Game of Thrones, and we uh, went with the fact that the sand is really, really, really white, and just tried to play on the fact that it looks like snow, and it just kind of came together. It came together nicely. The sculptures will remain on display through Monday afternoon. Organizers estimate over 100,000 people came out to see this year's international competition. Bob Harrigan out at the sand sculpting competition today, but Wendy Ross is in studio with us today and every weekend day. We welcome her now with our first alert weather forecast. Wendy. And Adam, wouldn't you say, what that is the best event around. That's such a great, great event. We are looking at temperatures right now that are in the 70s. We've got a cloudy conditions that are taking place as well. Some misty conditions outside. 71 degrees at this hour at the airport. Our humidity at 93%, but it's the winds that we've been watching coming through through across the area throughout the day out of the east northeast at around 13 miles per hour and you can see we've had some rain showers continuing and most of the showers very very light but they're along the east coast of Florida they've been moving over to the west coast throughout the day today and you can see just these spotty showers that have shown up on radar and really created just a sort of damp feeling throughout the day today our rain chances for the overnight time period are going to be somewhere around 10 to 20 percent and that will take place throughout most of the evening hours tonight and until about about midnight tonight. We're expecting to see our temperatures getting right down to right around that 69, 70 degree mark as well. We'll talk about the work week, another cold front that's coming through, and what that's going to do to our forecast in just a few minutes. Adam? All right, thank you, Wendy. Well, hundreds gathered for a two-day free clinic in Bradenton over the weekend. Some people camping out overnight for free medical, vision, and dental care. Remote Area Medical was bringing in practitioners locally and all over the country to provide care to people who may not get it otherwise. I have never had an eye exam before and I cannot tell you when putting these glasses on after picking out the frame, being tired, it doesn't matter when to put those glasses on. I couldn't believe that I could see across the hallway and read a page that far away. When we arrived uh, Friday morning for setup, there were patients waiting for us. They'd been there overnight already. So people had waited uh, 24, 36 hours to get in the doors to receive care. That clinic was so popular that unfortunately on its last day today, some patients had to be turned away. Well, the mission to end hunger across the Sun Coast getting a helping hand today thanks to area restaurants. The popular fundraising event, Bowls of Hope, making its return at Ed Smith Stadium in Sarasota. Attendees selected a handcrafted bowl donated by local artists and students uh, filled it up with soup provided by 40 local restaurants. 
I was looking for a really contemporary one to match my house, and I got a great one. Well, it's always a beautiful, fun experience, and we love the bowls and the soup, and we like to make a contribution to All Faiths Food Bank. Empty Bowls is the primary fundraiser benefiting the Food Bank of Manatee County with 100% of those proceeds going directly back to that program. Well, starting tomorrow, the Service Club Park in Venice will be closed for construction. That park, located on Harbor Drive South, will close until April 14th as the existing boardwalk and raised picnic areas are rebuilt. One, once complete, the new facility will provide full ADA-compliant access to the beach and raised picnic areas. While that park is closed, beachgoers are encouraged to use any of the other nearby beach access areas, such as the Venice P Fishing Pier, Maxine Barrier, Park, Paw Park, or South Broherd Park. And still to come here on ABC 7, panic inside a children's trampoline and obstacle gym in California. A structure collapsed, sending some kids tumbling and others to the hospital. Plus, survivors of sexual assault are spreading the message, you are not alone. Let me introduce you to the ultimate Florida window. <laughs> Do you feel safer with this or this? You'll be proud too. Buy more, save more. Volume discounts on four or more windows. At Humana, we believe great things are ahead of you when you start with healthy. And part of staying healthy means choosing the right Medicare plan. Humana can help. With Original Medicare, you're covered for hospital stays and doctor office visits when you're sick, but keep in mind you'll have to pay a deductible for each. A Medicare supplement plan can cover your deductibles and coinsurance, but you may pay higher premiums than you do with other plans, and prescription drug coverage isn't included. But with an all-in-one Humana Medicare Advantage plan, you could get all that coverage plus Part D prescription drug benefits, all for an affordable monthly plan premium and in some areas, no plan premium. It's all described in this free book and DVD. Call for yours and discover how an all-in-one Medicare Advantage plan from Humana could save you money. Call 1-855-395-9803. That's 1-855-395-9803. Now. If you're over the age of 50 and considering buying an annuity in the next 60 days, I have some important news for you. Don't buy an annuity until you understand the pros and cons of annuities. A free book to help you maximize your retirement income from television host and three-time author Josh Melberg has been released. This book reveals little-known truths about annuity strategies in simple-to-understand terms. Grab a pen right now because we are about to offer you this free book that unlocks the five little-known secrets we believe baby boomers and seniors should know before buying an annuity. Call 800-307-2040 now and you'll receive a free copy of Josh Milberg's book, Next Gen Annuity Strategies Revealed. As a bonus, we'll also send you the number one mistakes retirees are making with their investments today and a free DVD on how you can get up to 33% more income in retirement. Call 800-307-2040 to have your free information kit rushed to your door. Again, that's 800-307-2040. Stay connected to your clients and new customers using ABC7 Digital Media Services. Our team of professionals provide a wide array of digital services to help you get the most out of your website. We specialize in building and helping you maintain the most effective digital solutions for your business. It's vital that your online presence stands out, so our experts will equip you with the best resources available. Trust ABC7 Digital Media Services to give you the right tools to grow your business. Welcome back. Sparked by the social media Me Too campaign, survivors of sexual assault gathered in Hollywood on Sunday. Their goal, as ABC's Brian Clark reports, to shine a light on an issue they believe has been brushed under the rug for far too long. 
Victims of sexual assault and supporters marching in Hollywood Sunday. It's called the Me Too March after the trending hashtag of recent weeks. The women and some men feeling empowered to add their voices, joining a social movement. Sexual violence is something that we've seen um, happen in the workplace, which is really where this began. Um, but sexual violence takes hold in many other ways throughout society. Some women are now publicly telling their stories. I was sexually assaulted when I was 15 and I was raped when I was 25 and both were by men that I dated. Taylor Morley says she found strength because so many other victims are sharing their experiences. You know, we only pay attention when it's someone famous and it's time for us to give a voice to the voiceless and be able to come out here and say, me too. The Me Too hashtag reemerged last month after dozens of women in Hollywood accused producer Harvey Weinstein of harassment and sexual assault, some even accusing him of rape, allegations he has denied. Many other allegations of misconduct following, and not just from the entertainment world. I have not been guilty of sexual misconduct. With anyone. Sunday, Ohio Governor John Kasich called for Alabama's Republican nominee for U.S. Senate Roy Moore to drop out of the race over allegations that he initiated a sexual encounter with a 14 year old girl when he was in his 30s. It's just really a matter as to whether he ought to be, he ought to be the candidate, the standard bearer of the Republican Party. And I, I just think he shouldn't be. Roy Moore has denied the reports and has refused to step down from the campaign. Brian Clark, ABC News, New York. Well, over two dozen people are recovering tonight after an incident at a trap trampoline and obstacle gym in California, and the majority of those injured were children. Authorities say 21 kids and two adults were hurt last night when a stampede of kids caused a wooden platform inside the San Diego gym to buckle and eventually fall. Reports say that children were rushing to get pizza. People on and under the platform uh, were among those getting hurt in the collapse. I kind of just heard like a crack and then all and then all of a sudden it just crashed down and the hired people like screaming when it was coming down. The platform that these kids were going up on was real sketchy. You could tell it was not going to hold all that weight. Authorities say those injuries range from mild to moderate and also include uh, a spine and head injury. The gym has been closed until further notice. It makes you think about every, you know, gym or arcade or anything you ever went to as a kid. I know, I know, I know. I'm sure there were a lot of sketchy yeah, places yeah, out there. You just don't even think there, about it realize. When, you're, when you're so little. Yeah. Um, we had we had a really kind of misty day. We had a lot of wind that came on through and just little bits of rain. It wasn't a, yeah. a real rain. Maker. Saturday feels like it was a long way away I compared know. to today. I know and it was supposed to be a much nicer day. We were expecting to see a little bit more sunshine today, but we had a great deal of cloud cover and that's exactly what we're experiencing right now. Once again, as these very strong winds continue to bring in the moisture from the east coast and continue to move it on through. But we do have a cold front that's going to be coming on down the state beginning on Monday and you can start to see the clearing conditions over the northern part of the state of Florida as that frontal system presses on down to the south and it will start to keep the wet weather away from us after the morning hours. But tonight we're still going to see some rain showers developing. We still have the showers along the east coast. They're still making their way over to the west coast. So that's what's going to be taking place up until about midnight tonight. We're expecting to see these showers coming on through the area, but most of the rain very, very light, very spotty as it comes on through. No thunderstorms out there. And right now we really don't have a whole lot of anything going on as far as radar is concerned, but it is going to be moving on through. So this is what it looks like for our future forecast. You'll notice those spotty rains throughout the overnight time period a little bit less and then we start to see the rain showers back into the picture during the morning hours tomorrow. That cold front starts to come on through. The winds are going to be another feature that we're going to be dealing with and so those winds over parts of Manatee County and parts of Sarasota, North Sarasota County not as strong as they are down to the south. Mostly out of the east northeast and then at the beaches a little bit stronger. You can see 17 mile per hour winds likely and then east we're going to be looking at winds at around 15 miles per hour gusting up to about 20 miles per hour all out of the east northeast in advance of a cold front that's going to be making its way down across the state throughout the day on Monday. This frontal system will eventually make it all the way through the state and we're going to be left with some very nice weather starting on Tuesday as high pressure begins to move on.
on through and we're going to start to see some slightly cooler conditions as well as sunshine. But tonight we've got breezy, misty conditions throughout the overnight time period. And then we're looking at showers back in with the front tomorrow morning. It will start to clear out by the end of the day tomorrow with highs expected to get into the low 80s. But once that cold front comes through, then things are going to be cooling off a little bit more. Today, because of all the clouds, we only got up to a high of 80 degrees after an overnight low of 69. And right now we're looking at temperatures in the 70s across our area. And this is true just about everywhere. We've got temperature readings in the low 70s right now. It's just slightly warmer down to our south, but we are going to see those temperatures dropping off tonight. Some rain showers coming on in right now at the airport. The wind's still strong out of the east northeast at 14 miles per hour. And I couldn't leave before I showed you this. Holy cow, this season just doesn't end. And we are looking at this tropical wave now moving towards the southeast at around two miles per hour. It certainly is not going to be a problem for the U.S. mainland. And over the next several days, we've got breezy conditions on Monday and Tuesday, but clearing skies after the front comes through on Monday and cooler weather behind the front. Adam? Now, sports. A revenge game in Tampa today. Former Bucks signal caller Josh McCown returning to Tampa Bay with the resurrected New York Jets, a team that cut Ryan Fitzpatrick last year, who started in place of an injured Jameis Winston today. A little Veterans Day weekend flyover for the Bucks fans there in Tampa. First quarter, Fitzpatrick dropping back and finding Deshaun Jackson over the middle for a first down and a bit more. It helped set up one of Tampa's three field goals that gave them a 9-3 lead for much of this game. The game's first touchdown coming with just six minutes to go. It's Fitzpatrick to Charles Sims, two-point conversion, no good. Then with less than a minute in the game, Josh McCown going deep, looking for Robbie Anderson, and Anderson's got it. Cuts the lead to five, but the Bucks able to recover an onside kick. They win it 15-10 at home. And how about Patrick Murray? Three for three on field goals today helps snap a five-game losing streak. Up in North Florida, the Jaguars are looking for their fourth straight win against the Chargers. And when your team's hot, you can pull off stuff like this. With no score in the first quarter, Corey Grant taking a direct snap on a punt attempt, 56 yards and to the house. Gets uh, the Jacksonville on the board early. Then down 14-6 in the third. Blake Bortles rolling right. He finds Marquise Lee in the front corner of the end zone for the score. Two-point conversion good after that touchdown. This game would go into overtime after a last-minute Jags field goal. And in overtime, Phillip Rivers picked off by A.J. Bouye. Sets up a 30-yard field goal attempt for Josh Lambeau. It is blocked, but somehow has just enough mustard on it to sneak through those uprights. Jacksonville winning a close one, 20-17. They are tied with the Titans in the AFC South. More to come here on ABC7. Stay with us. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. If you're between 50 and 85 years old, call the number on your screen right now for free information on how to save your family thousands of dollars. We're Family Love Plans, and we've been helping families just like yours for over 30 years. The average funeral today can cost up to $10,000 or more, but the most you'll get from government benefits is just $255. How will your family pay the difference? At Family Love Plans, we can help you and your family. 
Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam and your plan can't be canceled. Better still, your rate will never go up and your benefits will never go down. Get your free information about our senior plans. Just answer a few simple questions and receive approval right over the phone. Call 1-800-707-3608. That's 1-800-707-3608. When I was growing up, my mom told us, always treat others the way you want to be treated. She did business with companies that shared her values, like Mutual of Omaha. She had a guaranteed whole life insurance policy through United of Omaha Life Insurance Company, a Mutual of Omaha company. When my mother passed away, her United of Omaha policy helped cover her funeral expenses and bills, and they had money on its way to us within 24 hours. United of Omaha is here to take care of you. When you call the number on your screen, we'll help find the right policy for you. If you're between 45 and 85, you can get coverage up to $25,000 with no medical exam. Call us right now at the number on your screen. Now I know I'll be taking care of my family even after I'm gone. United of Omaha Guaranteed Whole Life Insurance. Call or go online now. Be there for their future. Download the all-new ABC7 First Alert weather app now. Well, the God of Thunder continues to reign at the box office for a second straight weekend. The superhero flick Thor Ragnarok taking the top spot once again, bringing in more than $56 million. It's followed by the family Christmas comedy Daddy's Home 2. And number three spot going to another newcomer, the adaptation of Agatha Christie's tale, Murder on the Orient Express. Mm, that's a movie I want to see, too. And it's a good day to see a movie. Oh, uh, it, yeah, today was a perfect spot. day. Tomorrow morning will be outside. good, too. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there so, you go. If you don't have other plans, yeah. you can check it out. That's mm. right. You can see, it. well, there it is. You can see it's going to be raining. Only a 20% chance, though, in the morning. That's enough to see it.